Hello and welcome. It's Lisa Jones, Millionaire Medium, and I am here with you live today. And I wanted to do a little reading because I feel like our world is just completely turned upside down. And I just wanted to get some guidance for you and to help you really, you know, figure out how best to navigate these times where there's so much upheaval. There's there's a lot of weather activity. There's a lot of earth things happening, fires and earthquakes. And then also um, we've had another mass shooting in the United States. And um, it's definitely very upsetting. And so I just thought I would. Uh, <laughs> There's Tara. She always comes on right when I'm on. So she and I are tuned in. And uh, anyway, so let me just pull some cards and get started. And then I will pull some cards specifically for you. And a couple of other things I want to talk about is one, one of the things that really helps me during this time is check this out. I use Young Living Oils. This is Joy. And so what I do is I find support by using um, essential oils. So I want to talk a little bit about that during this broadcast and also about my new podcast. So if you haven't checked it out, I have a link that takes you to my website and you can check out all the different ones. I'd love for you to sign up and uh, even leave me a review. I'd love to hear what you think about it because um, I'm definitely wanting to get more subscribers and more people listening to it. So there's so much great information there that I don't want you to miss out. And it's all free. So why not? Why wouldn't you do it? Hey, there's so many people here. Fantastic. Hey, Nancy. Oh, my gosh. Tara and Chris Ann and Mindy. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Let me start with this overall message just for the world and what's happening right now. And um just see what comes up because I think, um, oh my gosh, these oh, I just have chills from the beginning already. Okay, so where we are stuck, guys, is action. This is what's this is what's happening is that people are not taking action to fix the things, whether it's in your life or in the world. Again, we can't really control earthquakes, but I do believe that it's the collective consciousness that's creating all of this upheaval with, within the earth and everything. So the biggest thing is that we're all just too lackadaisical. We're all just sitting around and not doing what we need to do, doing what we know we're, we're, we're led to do. So I really want you to take time and tap in and tune into your heart and figure out what it is that you can do to make this world a better place because we're always blaming everybody else for what's happening. But really, if we make ourselves happy, then it's going to, you know, go out to the rest of the world. And so the action is, guess what? Sanctuary. Woohoo! It means go within, take time to go within, stop looking outside of yourself. Like if you're really upset about what's going on right now, stop looking at the news, stop going outward and, and then pointing and blaming and, and telling everybody, you know, what's happening. Instead, we need to go in. We need to go inward and find the answers because we have the answers within. We're all guided. I had a beautiful podcast this morning with Lynn Robinson, and she talks about how you can tap into your intuition because it gives us our next step that we need to take to make us to help us on our journey. And so if you're not happy, that's a symptom of you not following your own divine guidance, because every single moment you should be stepping toward a better uh, a better version of yourself, a better version of your life experience. And then guess what? Our outcome is a breakthrough. So if you go within, tune in to your heart center and then take action, which is this is where we're blocked. People are not taking action. Then we are going to have a breakthrough and there's going to be a whole there's a whole new up leveling that's happening right now. And that's the other part of it. There's so many people that are still asleep and they're not conscious and they're just not awake. And so we need to wake everyone up. And I just have to tell you, I did my first live event here on Maui on uh, Tuesday night, uh, the Tuesday, Monday night. I don't know. Every day just blends together here. But it was so beautiful. And I received the most beautiful message that this woman said she just feels like she is just being filled with love, with this beautiful love. And that's what we need to do. And and you need to just open yourself and allow this beautiful love to come from the universe and fill you up and then allow you to move forward and take that action out into the world. So I feel like I'm on a soapbox today, but that's the guides are just telling me the angels. They're just they're imploring us to, to find your whole and your whole your whole heart center and move forward and help make this world a better place and stop blaming stop 
getting involved in arguing with other people. It's just about you taking action that's going to fill you with joy. And that's what, again, here's what I use, too, to help support me. This is Joy Oil from Young Living. And I, I've been using these oils for probably 15 years. I didn't even know my massage therapist was using them on me for probably a good 10 years. And then I found out that I could start ordering them for myself. So if you want to be on my team and listen, this is another great way to bring more money into your life is by when you share it with others, then you get a residual check. And it's like the easiest money that just flows to you without any um, really any effort other than just sharing the love of the oils with your friends and family. So if you're interested in the oils, be sure to email me at Lisa at Millionaire and I will get you set up and you can be on my team. How cool would that be? Um, I'm actually having Gail Ann and Jeffrey, who are um, some of the biggest earners in Young Living, joining me in Hawaii in two weeks. And so we're going to do a live stream. So if, again, if you're interested in hearing more about Young Living Oil, both how you can live a chemical free life and how you can bring more money into your life with just sharing the love of these oils, because that's really, you know, it's just about social sharing these days. It's 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 amazing. And the podcast, make sure you please, I would love for you to hear my podcast. I have so much amazing free information there and ways to, I'm interviewing all these experts that are talking about how you can use intuition and energy in your business and in your life and how to make your life a better place to, to live in and, and to participate in. So listen, I have so many um People here, I'm going to try to pull some cards for everyone. I actually, I got a big interview this Friday with a beautiful autistic boy who was unable to speak from ages 2 to 12 until he started using a, um, a board, a, um, a letter board, and now he can communicate. And he's channeling angel, or sorry, Jesus messages. So I cannot wait to interview him. I've got a pre-production um in or uh, meeting, and so I need to get going in a little bit, but I'm gonna do my best to get everyone a card here that's already here, and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So let me start with Tara, who's always, she jumps on every time I'm here. You and I must just be totally connected. Uh, let's get you a card. Okay, we've got freedom for you, Tara. So what I'm getting there is just, um, you're at that, moment right now where you're just going to have so much more freedom but again it's um it's they're telling me it's again it's coming back to that first reading that i did it's about taking action follow your heart take the action and then you're going to get the freedom that you're looking for so i hope that uh i hope that works and uh <laughs> Let's see. So there's Nancy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Nancy, I've been like, why have we not connected? It's been crazy. I feel like you and I have spun off into different planes or something, but we will definitely connect soon. Uh, ever since I've been home, I was off island for 10 days, just got back, and it's just been a whirlwind since I've been here, but it's been super, super exciting. So um, miracles. So Nancy, this is for you, miracles. And once again, I know, see those little eggs in the basket there? I feel like you are completely ready to, um, you know, break out of the, that, that shell of the egg and, and you're just ready. I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you. You're so, the word ripe is coming to just burst open and start sharing your gifts in a huge, huge way to help this, our humanity move forward. We need our leaders to step up right now. Take action. And again, it goes right back to that first reading today that we all need to step into our our true divine nature and just give. I mean, for the sake of giving, it's like we have to stop trying to get from others and just start giving. And ah, I, my my arm, look at that. I've got my my hair is standing up on my arm saying truth, truth, truth. If we can all just all give, suddenly it's just going to come swirling back to all of us and make us all a better, a better, better place to live. So thank you, Nancy. Hi, Chris Ann. It's so good to see you. Let me pull one for you. Sorry, I feel like I'm flipping my cards. Oh, so much energy coming through. So, Chrisanne, it's wisdom. So there, what I'm getting for you, it's, it's about sitting with yourself. You have all the wisdom you need. You need to stop asking everyone around you what you need to do and not do. It's all within. And just let go of any um, concerns that you have about what anyone thinks of you because you know exactly what you need to do. So it's just tapping into that wisdom and following it and um and it's really really going to help you so um you're welcome nancy oh my gosh i'm getting confused um 
Let's see. Oh, good, Mindy, you've listened and subscribed. Fantastic. So yeah, so this is for Mindy. Oh my God, I'm so exactly so happy that you've listened. And Mindy, if you haven't, please leave me a, a review, preferably a five star if you liked it. But yeah, my producer is saying that if we can get more reviews on the iTunes site, that it's going to help get it up. We're trying to get into newsworthy, noteworthy and newsworthy. And um, so, yeah, if you can share it with your friends or tell anyone about it, I would so appreciate that. So um, let's see. We are going to pull one for Mindy. Simplicity. So Mindy, for you, it's all about just um, just getting super simple, just really letting go. I feel like there's all the stuff swirling around you and there's just, you know, just all these things grabbing your attention. And it's time to just just step away from that and just go into simplicity, just really organize. A great way to go into simplicity is to um, clutter clear. You can uh, work on your home. Uh, you know, and I just, I recommend just doing a drawer at a time. Sometimes clutter clearing can be very overwhelming. So just start with a drawer or like I, what I'm working on right now is my computer. I have way too many email messages. I have like 10,000 email messages that I need to go through. So much of it is just junk, but I just don't take the time to do it when it comes in. And so I kind of get behind, but it gets overwhelming because then I, I, I lose messages that I should be connecting with. So that's a great one. Simplicity. So, uh, hey, Barbara Reedy, how are you? Yeah, I know. So Barbara says, I'm just going to put this up here, feeling internally yet filled with dread and trepidation at all that seems to be so chaotic around us. I know. And part of that, part of the key to moving out of getting, getting swept into that, um, you know, the chaos that's happening around us is, again, to go in. It's that, it's that sanctuary that I pulled earlier and, and that, you know, we need to really, really insulate ourselves from from falling victim to all the media and all the the input that's coming from outside, because everything you need is right here. We have it all right here. And, and it's just we need to, um, you know, release all of that negativity that's that's being input. And I really I and I know this sounds naive and and uh, What's the word? Probably, I don't know, isolated. I, I did not hear about the, the Las Vegas thing until really yesterday. I didn't, I, I'd heard something had happened, but I really don't, didn't know it was, it, I don't listen to the news. And I know that when I need to find out something, I will be told. And I just have to tell you that it, it was so refreshing not to be inundated with that news. And I, I kind of learned it over a very, a very long time and I was able to integrate it more easily into my understanding rather than having it just thrown upon me like with a big breaking news story. Um, so again, I, of course, my love and my heart goes to everybody affected by this horrible tragedy. But again, we all need to take action in our own way to, um, to move forward in life and to not allow the chaos to overtake us. And so the best way to do that is to go within and to find your answers because you have them right there. So, Barbara, let me pull you a um, let me pull you a card. Ooh, look at that truth! You are getting the truth card. So, for you, Mindy, and I, I feel like I'm like losing track. Sorry, Barbara. This is for Barbara. Um, it's Barbara. So, for you, it's about truth. It's about. I mean, they're telling me to tell you that yes, what what Lisa has just said is the truth. You need to really insulate yourself from all that out outward expression and really go within and then let your light shine for out start letting your light shine out to people rather than allowing the darkness of the outside to overwhelm you so that's that's a good one i really like that one barbara so i hope you um you feel that so um Yes. Okay. Yeah. And oh, here I see the next one barbara you're feeling happy internally yet so confused of what feels like chaos around us Right. I know. And so the main thing is just to stay in that happiness and emanate that out to everyone around you. And um, that's what's going to shift. That's what's going to shift. Shift. So, hey, Janet, how are you? Oh, my goodness. It's so great to see you. Let me pull you a card, Janet. And uh, yeah, and be sure to give me hearts and, and thumbs up and things like that as you're watching, just because then it gets more. I mean, this whole Facebook thing is crazy if you don't get hearts and 
love and, and, and shares, then, you know, they just don't show it to people. So please share, share my videos and, and um, be sure to put a hearts and a thumbs up and, and things. So, um, so, so Janet, this is for you embracing. Yes, I see no job yet. Okay. Well, I guess you're supposed to embrace where you're at right now. And, and again, I feel like what they're telling me is, it's like you're focused on what you don't have rather than on what you have. So it's all about gratitude right now. Embrace what you have. Be grateful for what you have. And the more that you can get away from that needing and wanting and grasping for something, the sooner that it's going to show up. So, um, so I hope that I hope that helps. And I know this has been going on for a long time, um, but. Uh, but that's that's how it, that's how it's gonna be. So you can't change it, right? Until until something else shifts, and I feel like you really need to shift that energy. So um, yeah, I know, Chrisanne. I haven't been on in a long time. I traveled to the mainland off of Hawaii. I went to visit my kids, and I had such a great time. And then went to LA and uh, saw a dear friend. And uh, it's been it's just a whirlwind. But I'm so happy to be back to Maui. I. I got up this morning and went down to the beach, did some yoga and swim, and then I did a podcast this morning, and now I'm doing my Facebook Live, and and then I'm heading up to, like I said, a production meeting for our big interview on Friday with this beautiful young man who's written a book about his autism, or his mom did, but um, and now he's channeling Jesus messages. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, so let's just see here. I think that's everybody. Good, good, good. Hearts. Oh, where is somebody new here? It looks like uh, Nasha. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Let me pull you a card. Um, and let's see what your card is. Is it Nasha or Nasha? Ooh, we got full, full of them that came out. Wow. So we got action. So for you, Nasha, it is taking action. And what my guides are telling me is that you've been given an idea of what to do but um, you're a bit afraid to move forward in it. So it's just time to face that fear, step into it, and it's, it's just gonna be amazing. So um, there we go. Okay, well, let me pull one more card in case I didn't call your name um, and you're watching this after the fact, then uh, you can use this next card as the card for you. And like I said, if you're interested, one of the best ways that I find to get through this time, I use this Young Living Oil. I've been using it for probably 10 or 15 years. Um, I, in fact, I just received a loyalty oil from them because I've been ordering um, nonstop for, um, I don't know, the last like two years or something. Every month I order my oils and there's all sorts of other things that you can order. So if you're interested in living a chemical free life and finding ways to help have essential oils help support you during this crazy time, let me know, you can be on my team and then we get to talk and work together. Um, and you might even, if you share it with your friends and family, start earning money, which is so fun to get those checks in the mail each month. So if I didn't call your name, it is, this is your card, pleasure. And so what what's being said to me for you is that during this time of chaos and upheaval and no matter what's happening in your life, I mean, whether you have a husband that's dying of cancer, which I had that experience, whether, you know, you've had a loss in your life of a, of a family member or a pet or your job or things just aren't going right. You can't find a job. You don't have, um, you know, a child that you've always wanted all of that. Instead of focusing on all of that, take some time and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just reflect on what is working in your life. Reflect on the pleasure that you have in your life because that is gonna start filling you up and allowing you to shine your light out to others because that's really what we're here to do. And um, so I hope you take the time to do that, everyone. And again, uh, there's a link to my podcast, it's actually to my website, but check it out. I would love for you to listen. And again, those reviews would be so helpful because the more reviews we get, we might be able to get into that newsworthy and noteworthy or whatever on Apple iTunes. And um, and pretty soon we're gonna we're gonna go to iHeartRadio and um, Spotify. So I'm super excited. I'm getting great feedback on the podcast, and uh, and I just really want you to be a part of that as well. So I'm sending you lots of love from Hawaii, and I love you so much. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk to you another time. Okay, aloha.